fans are there right now, but I'm watching an important game right now. Give me one second. That's an awesome out. He throws a two seamer that'll probably be in the low 90s, and then he can. That's an awesome three outs. And hey, welcome back to Reviewing April, day 29. Today is the day before the last day of the month. So I was thinking, since there's a baseball game going on, and I'm wearing the O's jersey, think about doing the fundamentals of baseball. And I'll guys see you in a little while outside. Welcome back. We're currently in the great outdoors of Glen Arm again. And now we're going to do the fundamentals of baseball and whatnot. Let me teach you the basics. What do you need? Your classic baseball bat. And. Okay, this is a wiffle ball bat. Completely different game. Let me get the actual bat. Now, the proper way to swing an actual baseball bat, not the wiffle ball. Uh, you get into a, the horse fighting stance. You have the bat up at the ready. And you swing. Make sure your ankles twist with that swing so you can get a proper hit. Huh? What? What? What do you mean they don't know how to use a baseball bat? Oh, wait, yeah. Fundamentals. Okay. There was always an offense and a defense to baseball. That's the only two sides. Well, right now, we're going to be talking about the attack. The offense. This thing, what I was trying to tell you earlier, is a baseball bat. The only way to do offense with it you got to try to hit a ball with it. There's several different ways. The swing or the bunt. Now I'm going to show you the bunt. That was the way not to bunt. I was showing you that way first. Now I'm going to show you the way to bunt. Get your stance. Now I'm going to show you the proper way to hit the ball. I think that was a nice ground between second and first, but you don't know that yet. Now, in sickly situations, I always let my cameraman get the ball. Then why am I paying you? Great, my cameraman just quit. Oh, brother. <laughs> Lost it again. I got the bat and the ball. Now let's try to finish up this video, even though I don't have a cameraman. Hey kid, kid, I see someone. Hey kid, do you want to be a part of it? Hold the camera. I'll give you 20 bucks. Welcome back, and thank you for the new kid who's videotaping now. So, up next is the offense. Now let me get my glove. Wait a second. Sorry, my bad. I said offense, I meant defense. Let me go get my glove now. Open of defense for defense. This is a dagger. More importantly, the Green Rangers dagger. This is not in baseball. This is Power Rangers. Now give me my def weapon of defense in baseball. Now you're talking. This is called a baseball glove. What you do is... Catch the ball, and you also throw. 
with your other hand that doesn't have the glove. Well, now we're going to teach you how to catch the ball. But first, I need to get this off. Got to get the glove on. First, we're going to show you a pop-up. How to catch it. That is one way how not to catch it. Now we're going to show you the way to catch it. A pop up high up. Get both hands behind the glove and catch it. Balls in the glove. And that's an out. I'm going to show you what it's called a line drive. When it doesn't pop up, it goes directly at you. And that's a catch. And that's another out. Now next we're gonna be doing a grounder. Now that's a ball where it doesn't go directly up as a pop-up or directly at you. It stays on the ground. Where it can sometimes bounce any which direction because it's the trickiest ball to catch. Cause it also stays on the ground, hence the name, grounder. Grounder, you gotta, you gotta get into your position, bend your knees, you gotta get low, you gotta swiver back and forth, you gotta make sure your glove is planted on the ground, and if the ball bounces up and rolls, hits you in the face, you can still get the ball. That prevents the ball from going farther back, and for them to get more bases. And now, a grounder, the regular. Now the second version of a grounder is a rascally bouncy type. Now the throw to get them out at home for the final out. Oh no, kid! Oh man, at least I get to save 20 bucks. Oops, did I say that? Hey cameraman, can you please come back? I miss you man, you always do such a great job. No, nothing went wrong. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. The replacement. Mm. He had a bit of an accident, okay? Can you please come over to help? I got, I accidentally hit him with the ball. I'm sorry, please come. Oh great, thanks. Now, we're going to be doing the ultimate team since I got my cameraman back. Please give a huge round for him. Now we're going to be doing the ultimate baseball team, defense. The pitcher and the catcher. Well, since I don't have a catcher, I'm going to have a... Just talk about the pitcher. Coming up next, the pitcher It's the top line on the defense front line. He's got to be the person that first tries to get him out. Before the outfield. Before the infield tries to get him out. He's the front line. What he does is. He has a stance of his own too. Uh, there's several different stances. I only know of one. You get down. You look at your catcher. He does something with his fingers, one or two, presents a, what ball you're going to throw, what side. And then the pitch. That was a good pitch. Now that you know the fundamentals of batting, fielding, pitching, now you can go out there and play. But you can, <clears throat> it doesn't matter how many people are playing with you. Well, you need more than one, like I have. I'm only the person out here. I'll see you at another game. Oh, wait. No, I'll see you at the baseball diamond. Hey, Red here. What's going on? Big monster destroying the city. I'll be down as soon as I can. My weapon, please. Are you joking me? This is not a real weapon. 
Just a baseball glove and a baseball. My weapon, please. Thank you. Now it's time to call my Zord. Thank <laughs> you.